happens, I would guess, is sweeter. Now. A lot of times the lyric will pop into my head immediately and then I follow through with that. But it's always different. It's always, uh, sometimes it's just hard work. Sometimes it's just, okay, I'm writing a song and you sit down for eight hours and you pound through it and by the end you have it. Sometimes it's like, you know, you're in the shower and you go, whoa, that's a cool idea and you kind of <laughs> hum it and you just don't know, you know, and I think, I think any kind of creative process is like that. Sometimes it's just hard work. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just a, you know. Ever a song a that you were a part of, uh, both of you, that you thought, this is going to be great and oh. didn't do well and other songs you thought, I don't get this one, but it does really yeah. well? All the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the best example is Last Chance, which is probably the song we're most known for. It's a seven minute production song. <laughs> uh, on the first album that we never thought would get played. And it's played and has been played for 20 years. Wow. Uh, yeah. I know the guys in Kansas are, are pretty good friends of ours, and they had the first hit was a song called Carry On Where Would Sun. They, they, when they heard that was on the radio, they were like, what? Carry <laughs> On Where Would Sun? I, I think that happens all the time. You can't predict a hit. You just can't. Now, in Tennessee, you grew up in Tennessee, who are your musical heroes? You had all these uh, instruments around. Probably Marshall Tucker Band. Um, gosh, it just depends on you know at what age point you're talking about. But uh, I grew up with those guys, and then um, as, as I as I grew older, um, you know Leonard Skinner, Foreigner, Journey, mm -hmm. uh, all the big uh, all the big uh, 1970s, late 70s, early 80s rock bands was when I was influenced, and uh, of course Grand Funk, Railroad. Right was a huge influence on me. That's, that's when I started playing bass. And I played bass really all my life until I got into this band. And I still do, but I don't play, you know, don't play in this band. I did for two or three shows. Yeah. <laughs> and you can but if you need to. If I had to, I, I could do it. I'd have to rehearse a couple of times. <laughs> Why stay in Kansas City, Van? I mean, you had all this wonderful success touring. You could be anywhere. You saw lots of different towns. Right. Well, I love Kansas City. Uh, I've always... Um, felt like we have one of the best kept secrets in the world. Mm -hmm. I think if we had a little better, better weather, no offense, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm in we'd have 20 million people living here. Uh, yeah. you know, it's, it's just a great place to raise a family, first of all, but it's a fun place to live. And, uh, certainly I had many opportunities to move to the West Coast and the East Coast too. Uh, and we thought about it, but it was a family thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, my wife and I talked about it, and we just felt more comfortable here. And, and it's tough because this is not the music capital of the world. <laughs> so, now you mentioned family. You've got two uh, young people at your house, two children. Sean and Alex. What yeah. do they think of Dad being a rock star? <laughs> I think they're oblivious to it. <laughs> I, I don't think. I don't even think they, you know, can equate it. They just kind of look at me like. <laughs> What's he doing, you know? Did they come to the show? Yeah, yes. they did. Yeah, they had, uh, actually it was my younger son Alex's birthday that day. So the Flamingo Hotel uh, was nice enough to provide us with a limousine. And so I, I couldn't even get home, so I sent it to pick him up. And I mean, it was like, gosh, you know? <laughs> so I think they're more impressed with me now than they used to be. Dad right? got us a limo. Got us a limo. He must be somebody. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, you can find the CDs at uh, www.shootingstarband.com and also in record stores all over town. And uh, we'll be right back with a couple more minutes. Shooting Star is the subject. www.shootingstarband.com uh, where you can find all kinds of information about Shooting Star and also uh, their CD, including the best of Shooting Star, which is right there. See that? You can find it that is. just about anywhere, too. And it's got Gosh. all Last Chance all the way to Touch Me Tonight, so all the great songs that uh, you remember. And we'll hear again and again. We've only got about a minute left here. If you were going to tell a young person out there, Keith, who wants to perform, what do you tell them? Tell them to, um, to rehearse a lot. <laughs> um, you know, growing up, you've, I mean, be good at what you do. And um, keep it clean. Stick and with give it. Give it 100%. Yeah, and it can be you know really rewarding. Yeah, you got to stick with it. It's it's the hardest business there is, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's not easy to to recommend for anyone because it's tough. But if you love it and it's something you really believe in, uh, you just have to stick with it. And stay healthy and stay, stay away from the bad stuff. Yes. You've got to do that. Because that'll destroy your career and no matter what. You can still perform when you get to be our age. Right. <laughs> your age. You're just young people. <laughs> oh, well, again, I want to tell you you can find all kinds of information about Shooting Star at www.shootingstarband.com. There is the uh, website address right there. And also in stores all over, you can find the best of Shooting Star. And you've got four other CDs out. Too, five, yeah. Uh, five altogether. For right? the first time ever, our whole catalog is out on uh, CD. Wonderful. 
So we're excited. Go find it. Here's a little more Shooting Stars. We leave you. See you next time.